Hey everybody. All right, let's uh, take a trip to the courtroom and ride on Mr. Wright's wild ride. Because this is going to be something like a shit show. That's probably going to be it. Shit show? Probably about right. Hey, how's it going, Insane? Maybe it's those drugs we encountered in uh, Blatant versus Right. Repression is really not something pleasant. To ask me how I know. Repression, not depression. Thank you. Number five. Oh, number four. Number five was the one we were in. It's a convertible. So it's a convertible courtroom. That's what this is. It's a convertible. Oh my god! And we gotta deal with the robot, don't we? It's not, not, oh my god, that's funny. I knocked my own mic. Oh, I took it out of my own mic. <laughs> oh. I got all excited about the music, and then I just promptly mess up my own mic. There we go. isn't right at all. There we go. That's much better. The Dark Age of the Law. Here comes Edgeworth. Regardless of the circumstance, I intend to question the defendant with all I have. For that is a part of my creed. 
Then you'd better bring it. If the two of you are ready. What happens if it rains? Do we do Do we have a rain delay situation? Of Athena Sykes. Your Honor, the defense was born ready. The prosecution is also ready. What an awkward courtroom. The gay energy between these two. No, I don't. Th we, I think. Y'all are just dying to have those two make out in the courtroom, aren't you? Yeah, I figured. Yeah, whatever, Judgy. That's pretty lewd right there. Hey, Edgeworth, remember the time that you were charged with a crime? He has a Canadian brother, apparently. Figure that one out. Why is he not Canadian? Edgeworth, you're such a you're such a dick, Edgeworth. Dick had to go away. You know, considering the weirdness of the Ace Attorney world, who's to say that they aren't clones? You know what? Um, Pearl made mention of that earlier.
What's my cat up to? Yeah, it's not the first time it's happened in court. Remember the time Edgeworth was uh, suggested as being the murderer of his own father? Judge, shut up. I don't want Edgeworth prosecuting my cat. Hey, are we sure this courtroom is structurally sound? Like, it's a little weird. This is such good music. Crap. <laughs> this is wild. This is so wild. <laughs> oh my god, this is this is fangirl service, okay? Like seriously, this is just If you get to hang around with me in person and I know that you play Ace Attorney, I bring up a lot of stuff from this game now. Like uh, my I always bring this up with my friends after I'm like finished playing these games. I'm like, I start talking about it and all the things that I like and dislike, complain, etc., etc. It's just ridiculous how much I talk about these games. Like, I definitely have found a game that scratches an itch for me. <clears throat> like, I've been. Like, like I said, um, I think it was Friday I admitted that I reactivated my Tumblr so I can um, follow all the Ace Attorney memes possible. Aw, Edgeworth and Phoenix went to a magic show together. talking about your gay date.
I still appreciate that Edgeworth still wears his jabot. Why did he take his glasses off? They're reading glasses. Edgeworth is basically an old grandma. say it's this. There's blood on it. Take that! Okay. Covered in blood, jackass. <laughs> Free previews. I like that the robot's on I'll top of two you. crates. Like, did they pick up the robot? That implies that the robot can probably be tackled or whatever, right? Objection! Was it belong to Ponko or... No, Ponko or Clonk Ponko, probably. Because Clonko's the one in the room? Um, oh, I'm sorry, did your grandchild's arm fall off? Yeah, that's at least we know the judge fucks. Yep, so happy to learn that. Come 
compacting wouldn't make any sense, but dismantling, yeah. I think this is a good choice. Objection! Because they use the same objection music for um, Leighton versus Wright, so why wouldn't they use it for this game? You know what? I don't think she was murdered. I don't think she was murdered. Well, okay, I shouldn't say that. There's something about <laughs> the way that she died and this contraption. At least if she was murdered, I don't think... Okay. Such weird headphones. that he's bowing. It's so good to see classic Edgeworth back.
We're going to have a robot witness. It's not the first time we've had a non-human witness. We've had a parrot, a parrot. A, yeah, we've had two parrots now. It's fitting that we have a robot. Ponco. <laughs> hey, hey, Phoenix, you are. Let's not bring this up, okay? You know, they said earlier we couldn't interrupt a already operating trial, but we've actually pulled somebody from another trial into another trial for the sole purpose of getting them charged with murder and not gain, getting them off on burglary. Are we going to have, like, um, what was that Star Trek, um, the Next Generation episode? Where you had to, like, basically reinterpret everything because the way they spoke in their language didn't really make sense in um, for the translators. Yeah, Darmok and Gamora. That's right, Darmok and Gamora. I'm not a really I like I know Star Trek, I just don't know all the stuff from it very well. So yeah. I like how we're like, we're going to waste time anyway.
You're only allowed to listen to voices that are directed at you. Okay. Yeah, I already read through this. Round window. Is the body moved or something? I think the body was moved. Body was moved. Mm. Try this. If I'm wrong, then whatever. Ah, shoot, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, there is a problem. I think the body was moved. Objection! Yeah, the body was fucking moved, wasn't it? Thank you, Ponko, for being useful.
Yeah, I'm so glad that the murder wasn't committed right in front of the robot. Objection! So glad the robot was spared to have the trauma. So glad. I'm so happy for the robot. Oh my god. It's Sir Blue Knight, okay? Sir Blue Knight. Five rights make a right. Bon Co. So there are fit tags, I guess, with barcodes, I guess. Yeah, we've already discussed this. I could believe that. That would make perfect sense. That's a good point there. Objection. Edgeworth, do not make yourself feel like you're a robot. having a flashback to like 15 20 minutes ago everybody
Right, Lily? I don't think that's what happened. I do not think that is what happened. I don't think she did. Just like you didn't murder your own father. Like, Edgeworth, of all people, should know better. He knows about this. Wait, how did you get out of jail? Aren't you, like, facing the death penalty tomorrow? Nah, you're gonna die tomorrow anyway, apparently. Uh-huh. Nothing like committing perjury the day before you get executed. That's a real flex right there. Yeah, exactly. Like we're gonna sit, we're gonna have a trial for you tomorrow. Oh, right. Objection.
we'll miss the ferry across the sticks. Selfish? I don't know if I'd call this selfish. Hey, Athena, aren't you? All right. Okie dokie. Objection. Objection. No, she's in the, um, she's in the courtroom. Getting a cutscene. Hmm. I really like Athena. Go away. I like how I have that knee-jerk reaction to, um, um, to seeing pain. about the truth. He has nothing to lose. Like, he could just continue to bullshit his way through this. Like, what are they gonna do? Like, throw him back in jail?
Perfect. Slowly but surely, we're going to chip away at his emotions. I somehow feel like I'm not going to have the easiest time with this, though. I enjoy this mechanism. I also find it really weird. the psych lab and the robotics lab right next to each other. What? I knew this game would throw something like this at me. I feel like I want to stay on this train of thought. We'll tackle this one first. Maybe it seems like it gives me the option to choose between them. And I feel like the best option is to stick with the emotions. Got it. 
Did I make the right choice? Honko? Okay, this adds up. He's messing with it somehow. Okay, so I th we'll do this one now. Oops. So I can't press on any of these, okay. God, do not. I, I hope not. I don't th I think this is the pro I think this is it. Because he's making the statement before why yeah, the blood. Is it this one? Objection. Thank okay. Who knows? Who knows if it's robot blood? Actually, robot blood is um, magic smoke. That's what it is. That's what you have to look for is the magic smoke. That's actually blood. Hey, there's nothing you can do about this, bucko. 
You're getting executed tomorrow. Why are you so worried? What? Holy shit. What is going on here? What the fuck do I do? Everything is like, what, at a hundred percent every emotion? It's a probe. You have to figure out which one the probe. Okay, I need to think about this. No, we haven't had a hundred percent. All of the emotions are going off. Um... <laughs> Holy shit, what do I do? I think it's this. I bet you I have to select probe on one of them, right? It's like a fucking Toho song right now. It's literally just Toho. I'm just imagining bullet hell right now. Shot in the dark, seriously. I better- I don't know what to do, and the only thing I can think of is focus on Athena. But what the hell is that? I don't even understand what just happened there. Is this going to be the content warning stuff? boy. I don't think she killed her, though. Athena's, like, still standing, which is ra rather unsettling. I don't think Athena killed her, though. I think Athena tried to do something, thinking it would work. 
Did Ponko kill her, though? I don't think... I don't think that's what happened, sweetie. I don't think that's what happened. Oh my god, this is pretty horrifying. You did not kill your mom. It, there's no way you did. Yeah, this is Ace Attorney for you. We're just playing out Edgeworth's situation all over again. This is a this is a really good story by the way like again it's making up for case two and the really shitty pacing that this game has had at the start of it like this is a really really good story it's making up for the shitty start Case two was um, dealing with the um, dead um, dead wrestler. You didn't kill your mum. Yeah, Kitsune. You didn't kill your mother. I have an idea that you didn't kill your mother, and I already have a thought about this. You didn't kill your mother. I... Do not believe you killed your mother. I'm pretty certain there's something in the evidence that suggests as much. <laughs> I 
I don't think you killed your mother. I don't think you killed her. Objection! I just don't buy that you killed your mother. There's no way in hell you did. See, even my cat agrees. Objection! My cat agrees. Right, sweetie? Shoujo! Holy crap, thank you so much for the raid. Hi everybody. Shoujo, what were you playing today? By the way, for those of you who are coming in, or rather, for those of you who are were here before, Shoujo is awesome, and you should follow her. Oh my god, I got... Oh no. Shoujo, thank you so much. Hi, you're new. I know you're new. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, for those of you who are coming in, yeah, there's a little bit of content warning stuff at this part of the case. Um, that's what I've been warned about. Um, but welcome in, everybody. Um, my name is Kate Lipsy, aka Carrie, Carrie Ad. Um, I do speedrun, but right now I've been trying to complete every single Ace Attorney game. And uh, if you want to see me play Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law, um... Come drop me a follow, and I will, uh, once I get to a thousand followers, I 100% will play eight, uh, <laughs> play Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. I'm like 83% of the way to a thousand, so. <clears throat> Those are some good emotes right there. Shoujo has good emotes. There is a Harvey Birdman Attorney at Law game. And I plan to play it at a thousand followers. That is my 2022 that is my 2022 goal. Mario Maker? Hell yeah. Aw, well thank you so much, Shoujo. I appreciate you. You're a good friend. Okay. What is the problem with the confession? I think it's this. Let me make a quick save here, because I'm not... I, I have... I noticed that the... In the scene, you saw the... Like, the katana, and it didn't have any blood on the handle. And she said that the blood came down to the handle, right? So let's do that. Okay. Yeah, there's no way the child could pick up a katana and then go and take out her mother like that. I don't know, like, did Ponko kill her mother? Like, that's the only thing I can think of at the moment. Objection! Phoenix Birdman, attorney at law. Turning it claw, more like. Objection! Attorney with flaw. Attorney it with flan.
I want to say that the defendant used a different weapon. That would make more sense. So the attorney, like, sorry, the defendant used a different weapon. That would make more sense. Yeah, saying shut up, Edgeworth, is like a time-honored tradition around here. Even though we haven't had Edgeworth as a prosecutor in what? Seven games? Six games? Game two was the last time Edgeworth was a prosecutor, and this is game number five. So... Yeah, we got it in game three. We got that we got to see Edgeworth again, and boy, did we ever miss him! Jeff, thank you so much for the raid. Everyone, all my friends are coming to visit me. This is great. Jeff, were you doing crosswords? Jeff is a real lawyer, by the way. Or excuse me, I gotta use American words because attorney. I always forget, attorney is an American word. Another blade? Well, the only blade that's in front of me is that knife. Uh, I'm gonna go for the... Yeah, let's go for this. What is... okay. Objection! This case is wild. I know. The handles spell out like a weird. Oh, they spell out the. Um... <clears throat> Was it Gyaxa or Gyaxa, whatever it's called? <clears throat> Excuse me. Pattern would we show? Take that. G Y A X A. 
Gyaxa, Giaxa. However, you're supposed to say it. Yeah, I think Gyaxa is probably the more accurate way of saying those letters together. So one thing that this has answered is, like, I initially thought it was a switchblade, but it turns out that it fits right inside of there. So it must be something that locks it in place. It's kind of weird to have a knife that just sits inside of a case like that, but I don't know. This place also seems fit to have the worst possible design ever for a launch facility with, once again, 70 meter high uh, rockets. Sorry, did I say 70? What did I say? Yeah, 70 meter high rockets. No, wait, hold on a sec. 70 meters is nor... Oh my god, I've forgotten the height of the of the floors. It was six floors, 30 meters. Was it 30 meters? I've forgotten the height of the damn rocket now. There was like a, a five floor or high, so that would make it 15 meters? Hey, knife etiquette is important. There are proper ways to hold a knife. Okay, so, um, Bubset should not be doing that. Wait, that's not Bubset, that's... No, never mind, that is Bubset. Actually, wait, is that Bubset? No, it's Toadette, never mind. Toadette, meh, she may not know Benny better. Oh my god, that is a perfect emote combination right there. That's a really perfect emote combination. Hey, Zoria. Yeah, I like I like my objection emotes. Oh, eighty eight. Friend, no. Oh, look at that. Phoenix finally got owned by Edgeworth. Nope, that's the end of the case. Yeah, Bubsy is a Kraken. Come on, Phoenix, you can do this, buddy. You can do this. I don't think Mia is going to show up, is she?
It'd be too convenient for Mia to show up. <gasps> we have to do this again! It's time for Jack Attack! Oh my god, it's Jack Attack! Go for someone else. This is the weirdest shit ever. I'm adding up. These brain blasts are really interesting because you have to remember everything that happened. But I also question, like, if I made the right choices. Like, what happens if you make the wrong choice? Does it... Objection! It backtracks you? Okay. Okay, so I'm just really good at nailing it? <laughs> I'm surprised I've not made a wrong choice at this. I don't understand why this game clicks in my fucking head. I have taken a couple of hits so far, but it's been a very long time since I've gotten a game over in this game. I have watched enough anime. Objection. I think I got a game over in um, Layton vs. Right, didn't I? Oh no, I actually came close because there was a couple points where I was just like at the bottom. I have the power of logic and anime. Well, listen, I used to help run an anime con. I remember things about anime. Don't worry, I'm pretty certain the next time I play an Ace Attorney game, I'm gonna, like, fuck it up. I think this one has been the easiest for, like, choices but it has been the hardest for figuring out where the story is going. And that's been the problem with this game, is that it's flipped. Because in other games, I've sort of anticipated what's going on much sooner than I have now. So that's kind of my problem with this game, is that 
the outcomes are not coming to me clearly, but the choices are. And I don't like that situation. Well, you know, Edgeworth and Phoenix have a lot of dates. Oh my god, we're breaking the poor girl. She definitely needs therapy. 100% needs therapy. What? Wait, what is going on here? Okay. Okay, then. <laughs> I feel a little bit rough for doing this to her. Like, I don't know any of you, but I have some pretty awful trauma, and I would hate to have it come out this way. Yeah, Kristoff deserved what he got, though. Like, there's no way around it. Kristoff was a real piece of shit. <sighs> Poor Athena. Aww. Hold it! <laughs> Holy crap, Phoenix had the ability to tell the judge where to go. Jesus. Oh my god. Is that the first time Phoenix told the judge to shut up? Holy crap. <sighs> Older Phoenix is like, I've been through enough. I'm going to tell the judge to shut up. All due respect, Your Honor, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so Ponko helped. Ponko was not aware. This makes sense. Oh dear. She tried. Yeah, because um, there was no jacket on her with the ID, and a face was a cloth was covering her face. So of course, the the robot knew nothing about it. So this ad, this ad, this tracks.
Japanese theater mask. Her, was it no? Yeah, no mask, right? No, would that be, no, would it be Kabuki or no? Somebody who knows Japanese culture better than I could. It's no? Okay, I got it right on the first one. Okay. I was correct the first time. Yeah, Kabuki is known more for its uh, makeup, isn't it? Do I have anything that would help? They didn't check, of course not. Who is that person? I will say that this is the easiest of Ace Attorney games. I don't know if that's necessarily something I'm happy to say, but... I'm hoping the Edgeworth games are a lot harder. The ending makes up for it? Okay. Like, th I, this hasn't been... It's been a lot of railroading. It's okay. The story is really working for me, too. Oh, A Ace Attorney Investigations 2 will happen. The next game is going to be Ace Attorney Investigations, the first one. Yeah, the drama in this story is just incredible. Like, this is, there There are, it's a good story overall, but, like, the railroading, on the other hand. Okay, yeah, technically speaking, the next game will be Marvel vs. Capcom, which I actually bought during uh, one of our breaks. Yeah, um, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. It was like $9 Canadian. So, 
I could be up for that. I haven't played I, I, I haven't played any of it yet, so I'm gonna play it fresh on stream. Just so I can play um um Objection. Phoenix. But you know, maybe while I'm streaming it and once I get comfortable with it, I could invite people to play. I also know, will say that this is not the final case in the game. I did uh, grab the DLC episode, which will be the next stream. Oh no, I'm streaming the uh, Ultimate um, Capcom vs. Marvel. Okay, so I'm going to put this out there. Bobby Fulbright is the murderer. I am almost certain that Bobby Fulbright is the murderer. This is my final assumption about the outcome of this game, and that is where I think this game is leading me to. There's just nothing... There's nothing for me to say... I'm calling my shot! Well, I've been saying red flags about this asshole for a while, so why why don't I just make that shot right now? No, this is the final shot. This is where I think the game's taken me. Edgeworth conceded. Objection. forgotten about um, Aura. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting that impression too. It's a really strange relationship. We're gendering him. This music got really intense.
We're in the last stretch? Okay. Am I gonna be able to take a break? Hey, Tara. Oh, hey! We got our bird back. Yeah, that sounds about right, Lily. Whoa, this music slaps. The lawyering has been going super well. This is uh, an incredibly good ending. He's like, God damn it. Now I have to worry about keeping track of dates again. Wait, what? Apollo, where the fuck have you been? Okay, we are finishing this. I'm going to take a quick break. Um, this is... If this is the st a home stretch, we're going to finish it. Um, you all should do the same. I'll be not even five minutes, but I'll be right back. <laughs> 